Let's begin our discussion. Uh, Isaiah, what was Kyrie Irving thinking? Actually, I like his move. Um, A, I think the first thing he was thinking was, I got to get paid. And you're looking at LeBron, who's going to be up at the end of this season. Then you're looking at John Wall, who didn't got paid. You're looking at Steph Curry, who didn't got paid. And we all got basketball ego, but then we all got, I want to get paid ego, too. And Kyrie going to Boston, I think, gives him an opportunity not only to get paid, but also to establish himself and get out of LeBron's shadow. So I think there's two reasons why he wanted to leave Cleveland. He was a max player, whether he stayed in Cleveland or whether he went to Boston. There was something that happened. There had to be a dynamic there that won, that pushed him out of Cleveland because he's been to the finals, you know, a, won, a, won a championship. But, you know, he was going to be a max player no matter where he went. It didn't matter. Well, and, you know, and so it, it, I, I can't see how it could be the money just because he was I, it, 20, 20, you know, 30 teams to pay him the max. I mean, I think Kyrie's one of the top guards in the league. It's uh, that extension max. <laughs> uh, the extension max. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zeros yeah, it's like, on it's it. like I don't, I don't, I don't want to wait two more years. Okay. Right. But, okay. but Ernie, but, but most people thought, thought most okay. people thought you're saying LeBron James just took you to four, four straight finals, and now it could take you to another one. Why would you want to leave that? And I know, I know you want to get but, paid, no, that's, but, that's, but you can do it the exactly. next. You can do it the next year. But, maybe one less zero, Zeke. But I want to stay one more year with LeBron to maybe get close to the finals one more time. But the advantage he, he had is he already got the monkey off his back. He already has the championship. Yep. So I've only, I've only had to go through something like this maybe one time. And, D, you could attest to this. When I first got to Orlando, it was still Scott Skiles' team, right? Scott Skiles, Jerry Reynolds, and all those guys. But I wanted to be the man. So some moves had to be made. So I could kind of respect and understand Kyrie wants to be the man because he has the ability to be the man and take a team to that level, maybe. So, you know, this is just him saying, OK, I don't want to be on the LeBron shot anymore. That's it's my time to shine. I want to be the man. I already got one ring. I know, so. but see, that's the question, too, when you bring that up, Shaq, is can Kyrie Irving lead a team to a championship? Well, let me say this. Uh, I think all these guys are stupid. Not these guys. I, I don't. <laughs> As a Thank guy, you. I, 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 no, not you guys. The clarification. There. <laughs> As a guy who didn't win a championship, I don't want. Why wouldn't you want to play with other great players? Why you spend? I'm sitting here, like I'm sitting back, like you don't want to be the man. You want to win. It's not about your own individual stuff. I go back and look at my career. I would have killed to play with Isaiah Thomas, a Kevin McHale, or Shaquille O'Neal. I didn't get that luxury. And I see the, this new generation, and I have gotten mad at Shaq before because I'm like, yo, bro, y'all need to work that thing out. Because if Shaq and Kobe had to work that thing out, they probably would won three or four more championships. And, you know, that, that ego, pride, whatever you want to say, and I'm like, I'm dying to play with other great players. Mm -hmm. like I, and I don't mean in a disrespect. Uh, I'm playing with Manute Bowl. I'm playing with Shelton Jones, guys like that. And if I played with other great players, I would be. <laughs> well, who started snickering? Yeah. Right, so. you know, started rest snickering. Piece, you're wearing a microphone, so we can hear that. Hey. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know that. You yeah. no, 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 just can't start snickering. I and, 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 like, and, and I'm dying to play. Like, when I got to Phoenix, and I'm not comparing. Uh, mm. Kevin Johnson was a great player. Dan Marley was a great player. Uh, Mark West was a good player. But they weren't Kevin McHale, Isaiah Thomas, Shaquille O'Neal. And I was happy to get those guys. If somebody had gave me an all-timer, I wouldn't have been sitting around saying, no, it's my team. No, it's your team. I'd be like, let's just kick ass together. Yep. So I find this whole thing, uh, he, Kevin's right. He was going to get the max no matter where he is at. It had to be a dynamic between him and LeBron. When you have top players, there's a lot, there's a lot of ego, there's a lot of pride, there's a lot of confidence. There's a lot, you're always going to have some butting of heads with top players. You always are going to have that. Yeah. you got to put that aside because you, know, you butt heads Tuesday, you yeah. win Wednesday night, you, you forget about it by Thursday. Yeah. You know, you got to forget all that stuff. And I think that's what great teams are able to do, and they're able to stay together a long time. You have beefs with people. There's no big deal. But you get over it because, you know, team comes first. And, you know, you're always going to butt heads. But he had to have something that happened there. There, that to, when I look at it, something happened. He said, you want to know something? I got to get out of here. I, I got to leave Cleveland. I, I, I think he's going to get paid anywhere. So I, I don't know what it is, but I got to believe there's some, 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 some kind of friction there, Ernie, that made him get out of there. That's, see, that's the point, too, that when I look back at 
the previous season, and everybody on this show was talking about Kevin Durant mm -hmm. uh, leaving OKC. Mm -hmm. And it was like, well, you can kind of see that that the Westbrook Durant thing, mm -hmm. you know, had some had some friction to it. I didn't see that with LeBron <laughs> and Kyrie Irving. I, 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 and that's why it, when I heard but, but, when uh, I heard it, it, I, I want to be traded, I was yeah. like, Ernie, wow, it what's had. Going on? It, first of all, uh, us guys know this firsthand, and Kevin said it. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in the locker room. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff go, the public will never even know about. Yeah. I've seen knockdown drag outs between players. I've seen knockdown drag out between coaches. I mean, it's the, the locker room is an interesting thing. The only thing that makes the locker room good, Kevin said, is just winning. Yeah. If you if you win, guys, because uh, everybody have their own little clique in the locker room. We are from different environments, inner city, country boys, black, white, uh, big city, small town. It's a lot mm -hmm. of dynamics on a team. The only thing really clean it up is winning. Yeah. Uh, but, man, uh, I think Kyrie, I think he's a hell of a player. But I want to play with more great players instead of worrying about who getting credit and things like that. Ernie, and check this out. And Isaiah, you attest to the point guard. Do we feel that Kyrie's ready to lead a team? We know he can score. We know he's one of the best one-on-one -on -one players in the game. But you as a point guard in one championship, do you think he's ready to lead a locker room? You're down by 10. I'm yeah. going to get a great shot for me, or am I going to get my big guy a great shot? Or am I going to get Hayward a great shot? Am I going to get Jalen Brown needs to get going? That's yeah. what I want to know. I know Kyrie yeah. don't get 30 I, a night. I, I, it's the leadership of running a ball club. Now I'm ready to give you that 200 million you're talking about. I think absolutely he will, and he's ready to do that. And, you know, I, I know Kyrie and I know LeBron pretty well. And I don't... The type of friction that, that's being discussed or alluded to those guys respect each other. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hear I hate Kyrie or yeah. I hate LeBron. No. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I heard Kyrie say I learned a lot from LeBron. I really do think this era, this, this generation of player, they think different than we do. Mm -hmm. they, the, the, money, the money is so great that sometimes if you got the ring, if you got the ring already... Mm -hmm. You just worry about your yeah. brand. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. going to get my money. Yeah. I, got, I got to get paid. Ernie, a lot of people don't realize that the friction started because Kyrie is saying, OK, LeBron, this is your team. You haven't committed yet. You haven't said what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. So Kyrie had a secret meeting like, hey, I don't want to be left here again by myself, so maybe you should trade me. That got out. And then at that point, you know, Kyrie is like, you know what, I can't trust anybody in here. It's time to go. So, you know, a lot of people trying to make it look like it was a beef type thing. I don't think it was that at all.